How much energy does a 1.5 volt battery give two coulombs of charge? So first thing we need to think about is what is voltage? We know the charge here, Q is two coulombs as well, um, but we're looking for the energy or the work that uh, that two coulombs of charge could do uh, when um, in a 1.5 volt potential difference. So note the name potential difference here. Voltage is like a, a combination of uh, gravity strength or the, the gravitational field and height when we did um, potential energy. So if you recall that potential gravitational energy was MGH, well, in the case of the work that uh, you know a boulder at some height could do, we could calculate it this way. And so for um, a charge, it is the Q that uh, takes the place of mass in our uh, electrostatics uh, study here. And this bit here, if you combine them, that's what voltage is, is the analogy to. Um, what does height mean? What does gravitation mean? It, that, that's two different things. But there is certainly gravitation comes from the field. Uh, we, we looked at the gravitational field calculations when we did universal gravitation. And so the voltage then comes from the, the electric field as well. And then uh, if we combine it with some kind of distance away or distance between uh, equipotentials, when we look at the field, then we have uh, this half of the equation, which deals with, you know, in a sense, you can mix up how high something is versus uh, how strong gravity is. If gravity was very strong, you would not need to lift it very high to get that same potential energy, that same mass. Um, if on a planet, say gravity is very weak, uh, you'd have to raise it a lot higher to get that same kind of potential energy. So my point here is this, that voltage is not potential energy. That's often viewed that way sometimes. You say, well, how much energy does that battery have? Oh, it's got 1.5 volts or it's got 9 volts or whatever. But voltage isn't actually potential energy. It's the potential for potential energy. So you need to have your charge there too. The same way a cliff with some height on Earth with some gravity has the potential to give something potential energy, but you need to put that mass at the top of the cliff uh, to get that energy or to have some potential energy in order to do some work. Uh, you had to do the work, some work to get it there, of course, and then if you drop it on something or have it spin a wheel as it falls, then it can do work uh, itself. And so to get work out of charge, we need to um, have some kind of voltage and then, which is some kind of potential difference between point A and point B, and then some charge to move through that the same way we had with gravitational potential energy. So we can define voltage as the work done per charge. And in this case, we know the voltage and we know the charge and we just wanna know the work. So we'd multiply both sides by Q in this case, the amount of charge available. Uh, and we'll see that the work will depend on how much charge is here. Um, and that gives us an equation for work is Q times V. And so the work done or the work uh, that this 1.5 volt uh, battery could do with two uh, coulombs of charge is then two coulombs times the 1.5 volts. And note again, if we looked at our, uh, our units here, work would be in joules and uh, charges in, in um, uh, coulombs, and so a volt is really a joule per coulomb. So if we times a coulomb by a joule per coulomb, the coulombs cancel, and then we're left with with joules. And so we do that, and we get a total of 3.0 joules. So not a lot of work, but nonetheless, uh, we could have more energy out of that same battery if we used more charge, or we could use that same amount of charge and put it like like lifting it uh, higher up in a in a gravitational field, um, we could give it more uh, voltage. But again, remember voltage is not potential energy, even though it's called potential in there, it's the potential for potential energy. It's the GH in that equation, where instead of putting a boulder at the top of a cliff in a gravitational field, we put a charge um, at some um, different uh, equipotential from somewhere else. In this case, the difference is 1.5, and uh, we can calculate our work that way.